I'm going to do a box opening and installation of this new Linksys. This is model EA4500. It's the N900. It's got dual band 450 plus 450. And this will be for our home. I just installed the E2500 uh, at a the family vacation home. And it is really fast. I want to see if I can improve my media stream here, particularly with Netflix. I've got an older Linksys that's about 200 MPS. This is 450 and with the my new desktop Lenovo it's got a gigabit connection for the direct Ethernet that shows uh, being 900 MPS should be great improvement so let's open this up and see what it looks like so here we go let's see what this is going to look like here this uh, is the smart Wi-Fi router it's got bells and whistles on here that I will never use, but the one thing is it's a capacity group D, which shows you can have up to seven plus devices over here. Also shows HD for this particular model. Now we have a laptop, we have a iPad, and I'll occasionally have my work laptop and a desktop, so we could have up, up to four things connected and plus running Netflix on Apple TV. So once you open it up, this is what it looks like. Everything's packaged very nicely in here. Let's take this out and see what we got. So here's what we got with the Linksys. E4500 N900 dual band. We got a CD, easy to follow setup, which the E2500 was. This is for the 4500. I'm going to install this on the Lenovo desktop so I have a home management. Got an Ethernet connection and we've got our power plug. And we got the Linksys router. And this is what it looks like. We've got four Ethernet connections. And the yellow Ethernet is for my incoming Roadrunner, which is what we use here. This USB port is for printing print sharing, content sharing. Not sure I'll ever use that, but uh, we will possibly later. And of course the power connection. So let's get this installed on the Lenovo and uh, give it a try. I'm going to install the Linksys EA4500 replacing our old Linksys today. And first thing we'll get started with is loading this CD. And I'll just follow the easy to follow instructions. So let's get the CD spun up in there and follow everything on the screen here. And the first thing it asks for is Have I read and accepted the license and terms? So we'll go to next. Now it's telling me to connect one end of the power cable to your router and the other end to electrical outlet. Then connect one end of the blue cable to the yellow internet port on your router. And connect the other end of the cable to your modem. That would be my modem for the internet. So let me do that. I've got the router powered up. You can see the Cisco light has come on. The orange cable is to my desktop. That ends in one of the blue ports. The gray and color cable is to my internet modem. Now, the last time I set this up, I had to power off the modem and reset it to get to the internet. So we'll see if we have to do that again. And of course, I've got it powered up. So let's go back to following the screen here. Okay, so we'll go through next. And it's doing a looking for network. Configuring the internet connection. Okay, so your internet connection cannot be verified. We can't determine if you're connected to the internet. So the last time I had to power off the modem. Let's do that and get started back again. All right, I got the modem powered off and reset. We're going to try it again. Okay, so it it's gotten through that part. Now it's asking me to put in a username and password. 
So I'm going to do that. And we've entered in our wireless name and password, configuring network settings. Finishing setup, it's a good sign. Downloading updates, that's good, we made it to the internet. And this modem is flashing here as it's doing something. These updates. Now let me create uh, your Linksys Smart Wi-Fi account. So we'll go ahead and do this where you can access your home network, I presume anywhere from an internet. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is what the Smart Wi-Fi tools look like once you set up an account for this router. For the EA4500, it's online, so I can access it anywhere, which is pretty slick. And I can see how many online devices I got on right now, which is three which is our iPad, my wireless laptop, and this desktop. So we got all the controls here. The install is complete now. This is interesting here. Uh, I got a speed test. So with this Linksys Smart Wi-Fi app, you can do a download speed and upload speed test. Wish what I wish I knew what it was before. So we'll run this real quick. This is to my IP address here, the download speed. And now it's going to upload, it says from server location, Washington DC. So this is varied every time I've run it. We've got uh, two lap, we got an iPad and a laptop up right now. So right now I'm getting 23.72 megabytes per second download and 0.99 megabytes per second upload. Just show a little history here. And we've had a 26 at one time download and up to 99. So I've never really paid a lot of attention to that, but I thought that was pretty interesting you can have. So let's check out some website speed. Just kind of look at the Major League Baseball right here. But let's go to uh, ESPN. And that pops really good. And go to CNN. That also does as well. And NASCAR. comes up really quick here. And let's go back to my site. And the internet certainly looks much faster. I know the iPad appears to be faster and I know the Netflix is as well as I uh, watched a, a bit of a, a movie on there to see if it's going to have that delay so a successful install with the EA4500. Looks like it's much faster and it was very easy to do. To do. Thanks for watching.